Okay, I've been playing around a little bit with uh, motion detectors. These are typical ones you get um, from your favorite Chinese supplier. These are actually infrared. Oops. And they have this little lens cap on top, which in essence is like a, um, a fly's eye, I guess, really. Because underneath, if I can take this off with one hand, maybe not. Well, let me take the big one off. And here's another one. It's just got a larger dome. But in reality, it's got exactly the same part underneath as the small one. So you can see it's got the same infrared detector. Uh, this one, of course, has all the bells and whistles going for sensitivity, distance, um, whatever you like to call it all. But the net result is they both have three pins, power, ground and output, power, ground and output. Now the only uh, issue you have with um, infrared, of course, is it a sheet of paper will stop it working because it's in essence running on light. So if you stick something in front of that, it stops working. Either room. Um, but now I've been took delivery of this little guy. Pretty boring on that side. Got a three pin connector. Um, same as the other ones actually. It's power, ground and output. And it's an XYC-WB-DC. And it's basically a radar, it's a Doppler radar. Um, I believe it goes from like, you know, half a meter to nine meters range. And I've seen, there's a lot of stuff about this on the net, you know. But in essence, what it is, you see that curly bit of copper trace, which well, actually silverized, but... Yeah, this bit here, going wiggly, 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 with the holes in it. Um, that's basically a slotted waveguide. Um, modern radar technology has things called what, slotted waveguide arrays. Um, because they don't want to know anything about... I mean, sorry, they want to know more about distance, size position and so on whereas this is basically a doppler radar all it cares about is transmitting at 5.8 gigahertz it transmits that signal as a pulse i would imagine because it has to be this is a radar system and it looks for a return if it gets a return that's still at 5.8 gigahertz there has been no motion detected. If it's, um, let me think about this for a minute, if it's higher than 5.8 gigahertz, motion is coming towards the center, sensor, sorry. If it's lower, then the motion is moving away from the sensor. You know the old um, Doppler Typical Doppler example was standing on a railway platform and a train coming through the station with its whistle blowing. The sound of the whistle gets higher and higher and higher until it gets to you. Then once it passes you, the note goes lower and lower and lower in frequency. Well, that's because on its way to you, it's increasing the frequency of the wave by the speed of the train. On the way past you, it's reducing the frequency 
of the whistle because it's moving away from you. Okay, so much for my old radar training courses. But it's a really, really nice, clever little device and extremely sensitive. So I'll stop this video right now and then we'll do another one in use. All right, bye. Back in a minute.